So how do we go from this to this? I'm going to show you guys that today. What up, what up? I am, um, and today I'm going to be going over a guide for you guys to optimize Black Desert. This is personally what I've been using for the last couple of years to help me get more FPS, more frames, more damage, more things, more trash. It'd be beautiful. You will enjoy it and you'll thank me later. Hopefully. Thank me? Yes. First thing I'm going to highly recommend is a deep loader program. I personally use the one by Chris Titus. Google was my friend. I found this deep loader and it had decent reviews on it and I've been using it for a couple of years now. It will allow you to install certain utilities and certain programs that you may want to use, but this is the main part of where we can actually make some tweaks. It has some recommended selections you can do from desktop, laptop, minimal, etc. Along with a couple other key little features that you could install or possibly go to like legacy window panels. I would definitely recommend creating a restore point on your computer. If you don't know how to do that, simply click on your start menu and type in restore and Windows will walk you through the rest. Backing up your registry is an extra precaution is also really nice, you never know. I personally do it just because sometimes things get a little bit screwy. Even just running a debloater of your choice to eliminate a lot of the background processes, you will notice a huge performance increase. Now I'm going to predominantly show this for NVIDIA drivers, but AMD has something very similar. On AMD, for example, if you have options per performance in your settings, choose that for certain aspects. And also AMD has FreeSync instead, which I would recommend disabling. Now for the NVIDIA settings I personally use. First off, if you have a NVIDIA graphics card, go to your desktop and right click to go to the NVIDIA control panel. Then go to manage 3D settings shortly after. Now you can choose to use Black Desert specifically for a program, or you can go to global settings to apply it throughout. I personally just use global settings because I've noticed a benefit throughout my whole PC. Now I personally have FXAA off and I allow my anti-aliasing mode to be application controlled. Now one thing that a lot of people don't actually talk about is the application max frame rate. I limit it to 69, hey, 69, haha. <laughs> we all know what that means, right? I limit it to 69 to increase performance elsewhere so that way my GPU can use its resources better allocated. I would use a range anywhere from 60 to 100. Make sure to have your low latency mode on ultra so that way you have the least amount of delay with your max frame rate off. Monitor technology, use fixed refresh or G-Sync. You have a G-Sync monitor, I typically have one. Now for the OpenGL rendering, I actually specifically choose my graphics card. This enables to be just no confusion. I just don't want there to be no confusion. Computer, this is what we're doing, okay? Power management, I prefer max performance with the preferred refresh rate to be at highest available. Now for this extra quality, I actually put it at performance so I get to eke out a few more FPS. For texture filtering, trial and optimization, I leave that on. Threaded optimization auto, triple buffering off. And the huge one, vertical sync, turn it off. It's gonna get you so bad, there's no reason to have it on, just be done with it off no worries and one last thing before we get into game don't worry this isn't too intimidating but your microsoft configuration and boot up go to your start menu and type in run click the run application and type in m-s-c-o-n-f-i-g for ms configuration this will bring you to the system configuration for your boot in windows startup hide all your microsoft programs in the services tab so that way you're not disrupting any normal processes that happen when windows boots you can disable a lot of this stuff. Only enable the ones that you know you're gonna be using as you start your computer. Now go to your startup and open your task manager. This will allow you to choose from a list of processes that start initially on computer boot. You can right click on them to disable them or enable them. If the startup impact is high and you don't really need it, I would disable it. Don't worry too much if you disable a program you might need because it will naturally start up once you click on it anyway. It's not like, oh my god, I clicked on a process and disabled it, it'll never run again, no! No, no, that's not the case. If you click on it, it'll run. Now we can finally get into game and show you the in-game settings that I use. Now for my settings, when we go in for performance, I like to use high, very low, and don't mind my FPS right now, it's because, you know, when in certain areas, it does dip certain things, video optimizations and whatnot. I don't have any anti-aliasing applied, along with all my other settings are off to hopefully get max FPS as much as possible. For optimizations, I do like to have performance optimization on. This will raise my memory usage, my RAM, but it will give me a little bit more extra frames, which is pretty nice, not gonna lie. Then in order to, sometimes you'll see like down here, it'll be capped, right? It'll be capped at your screen rate refresh. Refresh screen rate, yada, yada, yada. Well, that's because you don't have them full screen. By default, Windows will gate your frames based on your refresh rate. If you hit to full screen, 
it will no longer be gated. Easy. And as I said earlier, very low high, nothing applied. Now, predominantly, I will have around 130 to 140 FPS because I like to use windowed full screen because <laughs> I alt tab and do other things so much. I'm a hella multitasker. So, yeah. But in instances of like grinding for long sessions or needing more FPS, especially in large scale format and PVP, I definitely switch to full screen. Now, there is one other little thing I could mention for settings to hopefully get a better experience, and that would be the FSR they added. Basically, it's a scaling type setting that they added in Black Desert. I believe it was created by AMD. FSR Super Ultra Special Deluxe Scaling or something like that. If you've tried this before, you notice that when you go to FSR, it'll give you four options to choose from, but in it, it enables TAA aliasing. That shit looks hella blurry. I don't like it. But I'm actually going to show you a little trick to enable FXAA. The lot more clear, you will enjoy it. Trust me. And you'll also get more FPS because of this scaling feature. Now go to your display settings, display quality, high, and then change it to lowest optimal, then to remaster. This does like a little reset thing for whatever reason that messes with it. Choose AMD super quality, and then you can go to FXAA. It actually allows you to choose, and then you can enable what other effects, filters, and you would like in the game. Do be careful not to change the anti editing afterwards though, or else it might be a little difficult to get it back. You'd have to restart the whole process because it will default back to TAA. With this, your FPS should be hella improved. Use the bloater to get rid of excess processes, then use NVIDIA to increase your settings and overall FPS. Especially that V-Sync, turn that shit off, and then change your in-game settings to match what would be best for you. Don't forget in the bottom left-hand corner of your settings as well, you have two little save tabs you can use for your custom presets if you want to have multiple different settings. I usually have one custom save for max FPS in PvP and the other for casual grinding and aesthetics. Hopefully this guide helped you to get more FPS, more gains, more trash, more things. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Or I know. I'll know. I'll know if you didn't. See you all in the next one. Crimson out.